Good morning, Peo and your friends. So as staff and elders, we wanted to welcome you back to meeting as a church and share with you a little bit of information about what it's gonna look like. Uh, we're excited that we get to gather together again in the same building. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the requirements and the uh, expectations we have to satisfy in order to do that. I just wanted to let you know that beginning on June 14th, we'll have two services capped at 50 people. Uh, and those services will be at 9 and 10.30 a.m. And again, we're so excited that we get to gather in the same building together again. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. So one of the things that we have understood as a part of these guidelines from the county to begin our regathering process is that we have to limit our numbers in each gathering to 50 uh, people. And so we are going to be taking online reservations uh, for each service, the 9 o'clock service and the 1030 service, each Sunday uh, until these guidelines uh, change. Now we know this isn't ideal, but it's the only way that we could have some kind of control over the amount of people that are in our building. And so we're asking you uh, to uh, follow the links that will be sent out by email. They'll be available on Facebook, and I hope to have them on the app. And we will be giving more information about that. But to follow those links uh, through a service called Eventbrite and uh, reserve spots for you and your family uh, each uh, Sunday uh, service, first and second service. Now, if you know of someone that does not have the capability to access the internet, um, we would ask them to call. And so uh, tell them to call the church and we will reserve their spot uh, for them through the church office. Suggested uh, through these guidelines also that those that are uh, at high risk uh, are encouraged to stay home. Now, we want you to be safe and we also want you to make the decision that you feel like is best for you personally. So if you feel uh, uh, that you want to come, come. If you feel like you need to stay home, we ask that you please do that. We also would ask that if you are not feeling well, uh, that you would stay home. And as soon as you're well, you would be uh, welcome to be back with us uh, in our regathering services starting June uh, the 14th. Now, we also know that there's a wide variety of opinions on whether we should gather, whether we shouldn't gather. And so if you do not feel comfortable uh, to uh, come back to the building quite yet, we want you to know that that is okay. And because of that, we are offering a live stream during our nine o'clock service every Sunday through YouTube. So you can access our YouTube channel and watch that live stream at nine o'clock every Sunday morning until you feel like you're ready uh, to rejoin us and worship with us in person. Good morning, Paonia friends. We're glad that uh, you're here. The purpose of this video is to help you understand the kind of uh, regulations that we are under in order to be able to have this regathering. And we want you to understand everything. Uh, we're going to be sending things out. We're going to be doing this, uh, this video. You're going to hear from each of our elders and Katie and Chris. Uh, we're wanting you to understand why we're doing what we're doing. Now the reality is, is in any situation, there are going to be people that disagree. Uh, we are a divided nation right now, and it's craziness out there. And it's been craziness for quite a while. Uh, we all have our opinions on what is right and what is not right. Um, and so unity is what we're wanting to achieve. And unity is found in us agreeing upon things, um, a set of beliefs, um, those kinds of things. But there comes a point where we still need unity, but we may not necessarily agree on the same things. And that's when self-sacrifice comes in. That's what Christ has called us to do, is to self-sacrifice. So we will uh, give up our opinion, not necessarily give up our opinion, but we'll, we'll curb our opinion in the hopes that we can have unity, uh, that we can have uh, a place where it's safe and that sort of thing. There's just some things that we need to explain so that you can feel comfortable. Uh, number one, 
coming back or the regathering is not going to be business as usual. We have a certain set of requirements that we believe we need to uh, adhere to. Um, for one, we want to be a witness in our community that we can be subject to government. Uh, they're not asking us to give up our faith uh, or to uh, be against the law to be a Christian. That's not what is being asked. So we need to make sure that we keep those things separate. What we're uh, doing is we're wanting to be a witness to our community, but we also want to be a witness to each other, that we love each other, and that we will do whatever it takes to be together um, and to be safe. So that's part of what we're needing to, you to understand. A couple of things um, that I'm just going to deal with very quickly. Uh, when you get to the church, uh, obviously Chris is going to be talking about uh, reservations. And you say, why in the world do we need reservations? The reason is, is because we can only have 50 people at a time. That's the reality. So we need to know who's going to be here. So you'll have a reservation. Uh, there will be somebody that will ask you a few questions. Simply this. Have you had any symptoms of sickness in the last 10 days? Um, have you been around anyone that has been uh, found out to be have COVID? Um, those are just some simple questions. Um, we're going to encourage strongly that everyone wear a mask. I know that's a pain. And some of you don't think that masks do a, a anything. Well, um, they're hard to breathe in, so they're doing something. Uh, they're, that's just the reality. And we would like people to feel like they can come and be safe. And it's easy to say, well, those of you that, that feel like uh, you have to wear a mask today at home, that's not love. That's not love at all. Um, the other thing that we uh, are going to do is we do have family seating. Uh, we're still uh, working on the six foot uh, distancing, social distancing. That means that there will be no greeting time, there will be no fellowship time, and there will be no coffee. So, if you want coffee, bring your own. And you can sip it during the church. That's fine with me. We're going to have seating in the sanctuary, and we're going to have a little bit of uh, seating in the fellowship hall just in case we can't get uh, everybody in. Um, these are things that we feel like that we need to do at this time and we're going to do them the elders are in total agreement with all of this um, and you'll be seeing them in just a few moments but we want you to know that we're trying to keep this safe and yet regather and be together again so um, god bless you as you listen to the rest of it uh, my prayer is that you will understand it um, you may not necessarily agree with it, but you'll understand it and that um, you will come joyfully um, to the service uh, on the 14th. Thank you. Hey everybody! I'm really excited that here in the next few weeks we get to be together again. I miss you all so much and I miss all the kids. Um, however, unfortunately, here in the beginning, we're not going to be able to have PFC kids. So we won't be going downstairs and hanging out together. And I'm really bummed about that, but it will just be temporarily. Um, I will have lots of fun stuff for us to do. So when you come and I'll have some materials and some fun stuff that we can kind of hang out in the congregation and do together. So that'll be fun and temporarily the playground in the courtyard will be closed so no going outside and playing quite yet but i'm just excited that i get to see all of your beautiful faces and that we get to spend time together and that we will be together once again so i look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks thanks guys <coughs> oh hi um that is not what you're supposed to do okay I just want to tell you guys it's going to be great seeing everybody i'm really excited about it and i know everybody's been concerned about things going on in the world with covid um, i was just asked to give a few uh, pointers on things that are going to be going on around the church as far as cleanliness um, 
First thing, we're going to be cleaning the church and sanitizing before service. And that's going to be some time. Volunteers are uh, appreciated. Second thing we're going to be doing is cleaning in between services. So we really would like uh, people to exit kind of expediently because we're going to be having two services. And we're going to have to clean. Um, so that's the second thing. Um, so the other things are when I came out the door doing this, coughing, well, theoretically it's not going anywhere, but it's here. So we're going to be having, uh, what I would recommend is washing hands as soon as you get into church. Um, I really would recommend social distancing still. We don't know what's going on with all this COVID stuff. Is there going to be another surge? We don't know. Um, part of what we've done is be prepared in case there was. And there was a saying on Facebook, we don't know how well we're going to prepare until after this is over. So. We've been preparing all around the whole country, social distancing, masks, etc. cetera. Um, so I would recommend washing hands as soon as you get into church. We're going to have hand sanitizer stations, numerous places. Feel free to use it, it's free. Please don't put it in a plastic bag and take it home with you. That's been done, not at <laughs> church. Um, the other thing that I would really recommend are masks. I know there have been some people that have poo-pooed this. They've said it's a social injustice. It's a it's an infringement on my rights as an American. I am free. I can do what I want. Think about our church statement. Love God, love others, serve the world. Is there anything that says I get what I want? That's not the point. The point is prevention of harm and illness to other people. We love other people. We love each other. So Yes, it is strongly recommended that you wear a mask. Are we going to kick you out of church if you aren't? As a physician, I might consider it. <laughs> but as elders, we love you, and we will try to do what we can. Think about other people. That's all I'm saying. And look forward to seeing you guys. I think this is the end of my message. Stay safe. We love you. And see you on Sunday. Morning, everybody. As we begin to be, our, or as we begin our regathering, uh, we are going to uh, do our best to follow the guidelines given to us by the CDC. So we're going to need lots of volunteers to do that, and we encourage you to help us with that. And if you can do that, please call the pastors or the church office or send us an email. So we look forward to seeing you on the 14th as we regather and get together. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, we encourage you to keep abreast of what's happening because things are going to change. They inevitably will. And we'll contact you uh, through Facebook and social media and email. And uh, so make sure you.